everybody, this week in the Topless Baker Kitchen, we are making Tiger Bread. Wow! Now, anybody from England, you will know Tiger Bread. It is a classic, but from the States, Australia, anywhere else, you might think I am crazy. But once you see this come together, it is stunning and so easy to make, guys. So this is what we need to get cracking. Right, I've got 500 grams of strong bread flour in here, and I'm going to shake in my salt and my sugar. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give that little whisk. And the reason I'm using strong bread flour is because of the gluten content. So make sure you're using a really nice strong white bread flour. And once that's all mixed together, we're going to add in our yeast mixture. So I've got 350 grams of warm water and 7 grams of instant yeast. So I'm going to pour that in just until all the flour comes together. So I'm going to pour in about half of the water to start off with because I want to see how much moisture our flour needs. So grab a wooden spoon, or if you want to get really dirty, get your hands involved, and give that mixture a good little stir, okay? And you want everything to come together. And you can see there's still some flour at the bottom of my bowl, so I want to keep adding this yeast mixture just until all that flour off the bottom of the bowl has been absorbed, okay? So keep stirring, mixing, getting your hands dirty, and you'll see it come together into this shaggy little dough. You might not need all the water, so only about 90% probably, but it just depends on how much moisture your flour needs. As you can see now, I've got a tiny, tiny bit of flour left at the bottom of my bowl, so I'm gonna add the final little bit of my yeast mixture, like that, and that should be enough, okay? So give that a stir, splash yourself with it as well, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna dump this out onto our table and give it a good knead. So time to get your hands dirty, roll up your sleeves unless you're doing it top of Baker style and then you have no sleeves. And dump it out onto your work surface, okay? And this is where we're gonna knead and we're gonna get everything really messy and it's gonna be a good time. So we're gonna knead this for about five minutes and you can see at the moment this is a mess. So when I pull it, it falls apart and that's because we haven't kneaded it and there's no gluten. So by kneading it, we build up all the gluten in the bread and it makes it stretchy and soft and lovely. So we're gonna knead, knead, knead until we're back and it's soft and it's lovely. Okay, look at this. We've been kneading for about six minutes by hand and you can see how lovely and smooth that is. That is exactly what you want. You want something that holds its structure and that's because of all the gluten that you've built up from kneading it. So we're gonna pop this in a bowl, wrapped up into a little circle like that, pop it back into your bowl and then put a tea towel on it, cover it for about an hour and a half and now you have so much free time on your hands. You can make a tea, get your hair cut or just watch more Topless Baker videos, whatever you fancy. Look at our dough, that has been proving for an hour and a half. You can see it's doubled in size, it's full of air. And what we're gonna do now is knock out all the air, okay? So take your bowl and scrape it onto a nice little floured work surface. And you'll see all those strands in there, that's exactly what we want. So knocking the air out with your fingers just until you get a flat little rectangle or circle. And once that's all flat, what you're going to do is grab each edge and you're going to pull it into the middle. And what we're doing is just tucking everything in and this will help to create our lovely little circle shape that we need for this tiger bread. So you see I've pulled all those corners in, I've got it into like a little sack and I'll flip it over and you'll see we've got this smooth top here and just work that in your hands, put it back onto the table, give it a little shape and you want to turn it almost into like a giant Easter egg, okay? It should almost be like that shape there. And once that's done, we just pop it onto our baking tray, slightly floured, and we cover it for another hour, and we let it rise. While the bread's on its second prover, we are going to make the tiger paste. So I'm going to take all my ingredients and pop them into a bowl. So I've got vegetable oil going in. I've got ground rice, golden sugar, and salt. I've got some warm water which is going in and finally a little bit of instant yeast. I'm just going to mix that all together just like this and you'll see this paste come together and that is it. That is our tiger paste ready to go. And it doesn't smell great but I promise you once you bake it it's going to give you 
that perfect tiger effect that you want. And that is it, all mixed together, cover it in cling film and we'll pop it on our bread when it's ready. So this has been proving for an hour now and look at this, it's puffed up, it's done, it's ready to go. Take the tiger paste you made earlier and just get a little paintbrush and paint this all over, okay? Don't be shy, go for it all. You've made it, that's what you need it for and just paint it all over every single crevice and you'll see when you pop this in the oven, it will all start to crack to give you that tiger effect. So keep painting all around the edges, get the bits underneath as well. We don't want a semi-naked tiger here. We want him to be fully covered. And then this goes in the oven at 225 for 10 minutes and then turn the heat down to 175 for another 30 minutes. Give a little knock on the bottom and it will sound hollow and it's ready to be cooked and your tiger bread is ready to go. Right, our tiger bread is out of the oven and how good does this look? The orange crackled effect on top is exactly what you want. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to Topless Baker for more baking goodness every single week, guys. I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna have a big slice. Bye! Wow! It smells delicious.